Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. So get ready for a true superhero action thriller, packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns, more super villains than you can shake a web at, and of course, non-stop web-slinging, wall-crawling action. Oh, the nostalgia. Hey, what's up? This is Garda Trace. And we have just lost the legendary Stanley. Oh, say it ain't so. Please say it ain't so. When I heard what happened, I just had to make a video for him. As a matter of fact, I'm halting the production of this video in favor of this one here because that's not anywhere near as important as this right now. Now this is a video I had wanted to make anyway. I was hoping it wouldn't have to be a tribute memorial video to Stan Lee, but unfortunately it is. Stan Lee has given us so much over the years. As a pioneer for Marvel Comics, he has given us so many beloved characters over the years in the form of Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk, The X-Men, Fantastic Four, Thor, Ant-Man, and countless others. As a matter of fact, it would be easier to count the amount of characters Stan Lee didn't make than it would be to count the amount he did make because he's done so much and also he was the king of the cameos he has appeared in the vast majority of marvel movies produced to this date and even if the movie turns out to be bad the cameos are always what makes it worth it in the end so, for this list, I will be counting down the top 10 best Stan Lee cameos. Now, of course, this is my list, not yours. You don't like it, make your own list. As a matter of fact, I'm sure there's going to be a whole lot of people making lists. And this is, of course, going to be a ranked list. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Anyway, anyway, and Ignacio tells me, yo, I met this crazy fine writer chick at the spot last night. Like, fine, fine, like, crazy, stupid, fine. And he goes up to the bartender and goes, look at the girl I'm with. You know what I'm saying? She's crazy, stupid, fine, right? And the bartenders are all like, yeah, crazy, stupid, fine. Louise from the Ant-Man movies is so fucking hilarious. I love it whenever he gets into one of his long tangents, whenever someone asks him a simple question. And when you combine that with a Stan Lee cameo, that makes it all the more funny. Are you Tony Stank? Yes, this is this is Tony Stank. You're in the right place. Thank you for that. Never dropping that, by the way. Uh, you know, this movie ends on a pretty depressing note. So it's good to have that Stan Lee cameo at the end in order to lighten things up. Especially with what just happened between Tony and Steve and the Avengers breaking up. It's good to have a little pick-me-up like this at the end. Oh, and by the way, I, I ain't dropping that either, Mr. Stank. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. He would know. 
He is one person, and he has made all the difference. Enough said, let's move on. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. What? Did you think I was only going to do his cameos for the movies? No. He's cameoed in more than movies. He's cameoed in games, too. And I'm definitely including this cameo in Insomniac Spider-Man for the PS4. This one is one of the most genuine and heartwarming of Stanley's cameos. Especially considering, well, these are his characters here and they have come such a long way over the years. Hey, coming on to our stage right now, give it up for Chastity! Stan Lee? As a DJ in a strip club? I dig it. Unfortunately, he never actually got to meet Chastity. Is not meant for mortal men. Neither was Omaha Beach, Blondie. Stop trying to scare us. Come on. All right. Egg shell shield. Oh, he'll be fine. All he needs to do is walk that off. He's Stan Lee. He can take anything. Hey, Thor, he made you, so he can handle that drink. Well, the 60s were fun, but now I'm paying for it. Ha! Stan Lee confirms that he was high on LSD when he was making things like this. Just... Seriously, you know they had to be high as hell when they were making this. And not only is this one funny, but the other suggested ones were very funny as well. Well, at least now I'll be able to park in San Francisco. Well, looks like I'm walking. My sandwich was in there. Oh man, I just stole this car. Talk about compact cars. <laughs> I am so fired. Oh no, no, you can't fire Stan Lee. No, no, come on, Cap. You couldn't have left a note that said that you took the suit. Hey, in Spider-Man 2, when Spider-Man gets his suit back, he leaves a note. Why couldn't you have left a note, Cap? aren't as steady as they used to be. By Odin's beard, you shall not cut my hair, lest you feel the wrath of the mighty Thor. Well, looks like Stan Lee's getting revenge on Thor for getting him drunk off of his ass in Age of Ultron. Please, kind sir, do not cut my hair. <laughs> no! No! Before I reveal number one, here are a few Honorable mentions. He can't be the Hulk. I'm the Hulk. Oh, please. You couldn't even change into Bill Bixby. This is one of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons, and having Stan Lee in it just makes it all the more better. So why is this an honorable mention? Well, it's not so much a Stan Lee cameo as it is Stan Lee guest starring in The Simpsons because it goes on for way too long for it to count as a cameo. 
the matter with you kids? You've never seen a spaceship before? Ain't that the truth? Do you, any of you guys remember the Chitari attack on New York six years before this? So come on, this should be no big deal to you guys. Hey, don't give up on her. <laughs> Either of you. Who oh, Who's that guy? Okay. Wait, <laughs> this thing looks delicious. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have a better clip of this one because Venom isn't on Blu-ray yet. This is a very clever cameo as it makes sense that Venom wouldn't recognize him because, well, Stan Lee didn't create Venom. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, at that time, I was a Federal Express man. Here's proof that Stan Lee's not dead. He simply ascended to a higher plane of existence. about The Amazing Spider-Man. You've got to admit, this cameo is pure gold. As a matter of fact, you can tell that a lot more thought went into this cameo than there was in giving the lizard a legitimate motivation for its villainy. Which is sad for the movie itself, however when it comes to Stan Lee's cameo in the film, it just makes it so much better. So that is my list of the best Stan Lee cameos. What are your favorite Stan Lee cameos? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also like and subscribe for more content to come. Stan Lee, you may be gone, but you'll never be forgotten. We will all miss you, Stan Lee. Your impact will be felt for all time. And through your cameos, as well as your characters, you will always live on. Until next time, true believers, this is Trace, signing out. <laughs> Excelsior!